guys, welcome back to CJ Explores. Today we've come 20 minutes outside of Brisbane City to a place called Daisy Hill. There's a koala centre here and a big park called Daisy Hill Park and there's wallabies. Um, all around this park we've come with a picnic and we're hoping to see a fair few furry friends today. This place is promoting the conservation of the Australian wildlife. It talks a lot about the typical animals you'll see here in Queensland, um, but predominantly it's about the koalas. Unfortunately, they've had a bit of a hard time here just with the urban development and they were, I guess, hunted a lot years ago. But here, places like this are helping them and this environment is very good for them. So it is kind of like a little uh, koala sanctuary here. When you walk through, there's like a little entrance and you walk through the middle. Um, of this little green area uh, and there's a few of these I think they're real trees but they've got uh, eucalyptus eucalyptus leaves uh, and like feeding pots for them um, and there's a few koalas in there and then when you go into the centre you can go upstairs uh, and around the top and, and it's like another level where you can kind of be at eye level with some of them um, it's a bit of a sanctuary for them, so you, you can learn a lot about how to do your bit um, you know, in the area that you live and look after the koalas in your area and uh, not let them get attacked by dogs and all those kind of other predators that may get them. So the koala centre isn't a massive place to visit and it doesn't take very long to get around it. Um, but you can learn a lot in there and you do get to see the koalas up close uh, for free. Other places uh, will make you pay but this is kind of like a bit of an education centre and there's a beautiful park which we're going to go into now uh, and find a little spot for a picnic and hopefully see some wallabies. Alright, we've just got all our picnic stuff out of the car and we've already just seen a big one of the just hopping by past us. So we're very excited, we have our picnic basket, but we're going to go find a nice spot to sit and hopefully they'll come near us. Right, I think this is a very nice place for a picnic. It is a little bit louder in the park today, I think because it's a public holiday, we've got a lot of families in here. But it's still absolutely gorgeous here, there's wallabies jumping around. You can hear all the insects in the trees and um, we're just under the shade now of the forest and yeah, I'm hungry so I'm going to tuck in. place we're in the middle of the summer now in Queensland and the heat is just a bit too high for me um, but it's getting to the end of the day so we're hoping for some nice sunset shots here well it's the more end of the day and it's going to start getting into the sunset period and the wallabies and I got a friend hi Hello. friend <laughs> what do you think of that Now we're going to go for a little walk to one of the, the nearby walks here, it's the Tree Discovery Trail uh, and we're going to just go for a wander through the forest and do a bit of forest bathing. Have you heard of a forest bathing? No, uh, what's forest bathing? Well, it's pretty much what it says on the tin. You go to the forest and just bathe in nature, it's becoming quite a popular thing. Right on. Let's go do some of that stuff. Okay, now we are getting to that time of day when there is going to be some wallabies about. And so we are hoping to see them. But the thing is about wallabies is that they always see you before you see them. So unless they want to be seen, you don't really see them. 
but uh, apparently there it's a species around here which is pretty friendly, um, doesn't mind um, being around people, so hopefully when we come near by some they won't hide or skip away. Fingers crossed. We found a wannabe! He's just staring and looking at us, but yeah, we didn't have to walk far before we could find one. There's so much wildlife here in Daisy Hill Park. Birds again. I can't see any though. So if you do want to go and see a whip bird, check out our O'Reilly's vlog where we saw a few on the ground. It was the first time we saw them. We had like a little Mohican, so that was really cool. Right, we finished the tree discovery trail. We're back down to the main part now here in the park. Um, we're just going to have a nice little walk around before the sun sets. It's really beautiful right now. It's quietened off a lot too. I think this is the perfect time, probably the early morning or later in the afternoon. Definitely the quietest time around here in terms of the public and the best time to see the wildlife too. Okay, that is it from today's location. Uh, once again, we definitely recommend Daisy Hill as a day trip from Brisbane. It's less than half an hour away. Uh, and you can come out here and just relax in the tranquil um, green spaces that's provided by the council. Um, definitely want to come here a bit earlier though, you'll avoid the crowds and you're going to see more wallabies hopping around here, um, or if you can come a bit later, but at lunchtime this is, especially on the weekends, a very popular spot for picnics and families, um, games and sometimes music, <laughs> but that's cool. Anyway, we will see you guys in next week's vlog, thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you there, bye!